Hey guys, it's Dan back with another book review. This time I'm here to review The Shining Girls by Lauren Bucus. Um, if you've never heard of Lauren Bucus, she um, is a South African author. She lives in, is, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, it's either Johannesburg or Johannesburg. I'm not 100% sure on the pronunciation of that city. Um, if you know the correct pronunciation, please um, correct me down below because I'm not 100% sure on that. But anyways, <clears throat> this is a book that has been on my TBR for quite a while. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm on a TBR takedown. I'm trying to go through my TBR and, you know, read through it. And this is one of the books I added back in 2016. Um, apparently, this book was trending in the book community around 2016. I know, I think I saw it in a number of hauls back then. I don't know if I saw too many many reviews of it. I tried to do um, a YouTube search for book reviews of this book, and I only found a few. So here's my review of The Shining Girls by Lauren Bucus. I had read... Pro this is not her first book. It is her second book. She did do another book called Zoo City in 2010, and I think this book came out in 2014. Um, I will put the correct date if I'm wrong here, but I'm believing this one came out in 2014. This is the second book by her I have read. The other book I read by her I absolutely loved and gave four stars to was Broken Monsters. Um, that was another book about a serial killer. I will leave a link down below if you want to check out that review. But this book also involves a serial killer and this is a, I'm going to classify this as a multi-genre book because it, it, it crosses over with different genres. It's a little bit science fiction, it's horror, and it's somewhat a thriller at the same time. Now, um, what the main premise of this book is, we have this character named Harper. He's from the Great Depression era, and he time travels through different time periods, killing what are, he calls the Shining Girls. Now, don't be misled by the fact that it's called The Shining Girls. I know if you Google The Shining Girls, you're going to it's going to come up with the two twins from The Shining movie. It has nothing to do with Stephen King's The Shining. Just laying that out there. And I don't think they ever really explain why they're called The Shining Girls. They just for some reason they illuminate for him and there's some scene in the book with a room in his house, and I'm not going to go into too much details about that because I don't want to spoil it. I feel like if I go into too much detail of that, I'll be spoiling the story. But w this guy, he, he time travels to different... So, like, when you're reading this, it does... It is a little confusing, and this is one of my criticisms for Bucus. She has a tendency to introduce a lot of characters... Too many at once, I'm going to say, because I noticed this also in Broken Monsters. She introduced a lot of characters, and she'll go chapter to chapter. She'll, like, it'll be the serial killer, and then she'll jump to another character. And there's a lot of one-and-done characters where they only had, like, one chapter. So you kind of have to pay attention to the character name and the time period to figure out what's going on because it does a lot of jumping around and I could see a reader getting easily confused because it does jump from chapter to chapter. Now one of the um, victims of Harper, she survives her attack. Uh, yeah, he does not know, he doesn't realize that she has survived. And she decides to investigate these crimes because she's seeing a lot of similarities. And one of his signatures is that he likes to leave what I call artifacts. Like he'll take an item from his victim and he'll leave another item. And sometimes these items will be out of place. Like they just won't make sense for the time period they're being left in. But a lot of people don't notice this or don't realize it at all, which I thought was kind of odd. Um, I will have to give Lauren Bucus props because I really, she did do her research 
And I did get the feeling like this felt like this was a real serial killer kind of case because a lot of the psychological things you'll start to see in the Harper character, you'll kind of see some what I call perversions, like he's like kind of a sexual deviant when he kind of like touches himself when thinking about some of his past crimes and the whole signature with leaving an item and taking an item and stuff like that. Um, but this, bu this book felt very kind of like, like the story, the idea of the story I found very likable. I really liked the story idea, a time traveling serial killer. It sounds like something that would be really, really great. But it just kind of felt like it was just okay. At the end of the book, I felt like it was only a three-star book. Um, I will admit, it, 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 you can tell this was something that was written prior to Broken Monsters. Because the character of Harper didn't really feel as fleshed out as the serial killer in Broken Monsters. The serial killer in Broken Monsters was really intricate. And the way he did things was really intricate. And it kind of added to the story and made the story more intense. Whereas The Shining Girls, it was just kind of like, oh, he just killed someone and now we're moving on to the next chapter, the next scene. And there were some kind of like circling back. And with the whole time travel thing, like I said, it does get a little confusing. You have to pay attention to times and dates. And then when it comes to a certain key location, I don't want to spoil how he travels through time. That's something you're going to have to pick up the book and read for yourself. Because that was a rather interesting and very... It made it for a very interesting story. And that's why I think I enjoyed it was just because of that one key factor. Um, it made for a really enjoyable story. But not as enjoyable as the other book I mentioned. I did enjoy this story, but I felt like it ended rather abruptly. Like, it, it should have had more room to explore, you know, like, this dynamic with, you know, the survivor trying to track down the serial killer. But it seemed like as soon as she knew what was going on, it was like, boom, it's over. Quick. I, I thought that was kind of not cool that it was over so quick, and I felt like it should have developed a little more. Where I think she solved that problem in the Broken Monsters, you know. Broken Monsters, I felt, was way better than The Shining Girls. But not to say that The Shining Girls is not an inter interesting book. You should go ahead and check it out if you are a fan of time travel and true crime or crime. Serial killers like murder and stuff like that. It, it, I, it was interesting for those aspects. Um, of course, as always, for those of you in the U.S., I have, will have an Amazon link down below. Um, for those of you outside the U.S., I have a book depository link. They offer they offer free worldwide shipping. And they offer the same great discounts as Amazon. Um, I get a very small percentage of every sale that helps me out since I'm not getting AdSense. Um, I do appreciate all the new subscribers I've been getting. I've been getting quite a few new subscribers lately. I think that's really cool. And like I said, I appreciate all of you that have been buying the books through my links because... Since I'm not getting AdSense, every little purchase made through those links helps out my channel. You may not think it does, but it does. And if you came here looking for book reviews, go ahead and hit that subscriber button. While you're there, hit that notification bell so you're well aware of when I upload again. That's all I got for you guys. Sorry to make this such a quick video, but there's so many elements of this book that I just don't want to spoil. Like I, I said, I did find it enjoyable. It's a three-star book. Um... It's not bad. It's not terrible. I mean, it just, I wish it could have been as good as her other book that I read. And of course, I will have the link to that down below if you'd like to check out that review on my blog. But that's all I got for you guys. Thank you for watching. Till next time, later.